Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Santa's Workshop. Today, we're going to be checking out a new product. Um, it is the King Bolin OBD2 scanner. Now, this will also do the CAN bus in the newer vehicles, and it's got a lot of, lot of settings and stuff on it. Um, I've barely had a chance to really check it out and see what all it can do, but I do have a car I want to check with it. So let's go out here and check out this Honda. All right, my little Honda, I found out that the battery was just absolutely shorted out in it. And don't comment on how dirty it is in here. This is my work car. <laughs> Okay, now I put a new battery in. I do not know if it's going to still be good or not. Yes, it is. Okay, what I want to do is we're going to hook up the King Bolin here and see what it can tell me that is going wrong with my charging system. All right, get you here where you can see it. All right. Okay, diagnosis. Okay. Protecting. Okay. Monitor okay four. Let's see. Go back. Yep, didn't want to go that far back. As I said, I've this thing is so so many little settings and stuff. I haven't had a chance to really play with it. And now my don't know if you can see it, but the battery light has come on again. I've had four alternators in this thing, and. I am not sure selected mode is not supported yep. <laughs> oh, the joy of small cars all right I'm gonna go back Read codes, okay. Let's hit the stored codes. No codes are stored in this module. Now let's do the pending codes. No pending codes are stored in this module. Well, did you just not read the daggum things? What's going on here? Let's hit the battery. See what it tells us about. 24 volt. We're at 11.8. And <laughs> we are not charging hardly anything. Look at that. 9.910. That ain't good. Okay. Okay. It's got the VIN look up, so we can look up the VIN. Let's go ahead and hit diagnosis again.
Okay. Read codes. Store codes. No codes are stored. Okay, what's going on here? Said you had four, and it's not showing them. I am wondering if my deal is even making contact with the computer. That's one of the things that I have read about this vehicle is that if you're going through alternators, either you're getting bad alternators or it's possible that your ECM is out of whack. No codes, okay. No pending codes. Huh, I am wondering enter the trouble code. I don't have no trouble codes because you're not giving me no trouble codes. Diagnosis. I'm going to try it one more time. No codes. Well, now, this is interesting. Let's go over here to the pickup and see what we got. Well, now, this is showing a whole world of difference in our screen here. Let's see here. Okay. Let's hit diagnosis. Keep forgetting it's not touch screen. Okay, monitor seven. We clicked on that one on ours. Okay, read codes, stored codes. Knock sensor. Okay, that's exactly what I've gotten on my other one. Pending codes. Knock sensor. Okay, let's go back to stored codes. Okay, that's one of one. Pending codes. One of one. Okay. Go back to diagnosis. It showed seven. Let's hit the live data. Graph display. Let's 
this is what the MAF sensor is doing. Because I cleaned that out the other day. And it says it's okay. RPM. Yeah, I need to play with this a lot more so I will know exactly what we got going here. RPM 625, that looks about dead on right. Okay, well, that tells me that uh, my little Honda over there is not communicating with the ECM. So I imagine that is probably the problem I'm having. Well, the King Bodum uh, OBD2 scanner, very, very reasonable on Amazon. Um, I think it was below 30 bucks. But, you know, for what it can tell you, it's got the graphs, it's got, you know, it can read your RPM, can read your battery, um, CAN bus. I want to tell you right now, I've never messed with the CAN bus systems. I'm old school. I barely know how to work a computer on a car. But uh, it seems like this has quite a bit of information that it can give you. Um, here's this little quick start guide. And I want to tell you right now, when you're old like me, you will definitely need glasses or a magnifying glass to read this. But it tells you the contents, user interface, specifications, locating the data or locating the data link connector connecting the tool diagnostic functions but with the lack of communication it had with the honda i'm going to have to say i am probably going to have to get an ecm for that car it's got 270,000 miles on it but the motor in it is still awesome i mean it uses no oil It'll zip down the highway like crazy. It's just the alternator is no longer charging. So now I get to look for an ECM. Yay. But guys, I'll have a link to the King Bola down below. Please check it out. It is a good, good little scanner um, for the money. Of course, I had to do that. That's so satisfying. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a good little scanner. Um, the more I work with it, the more I'll be able to, to understand it and use it. I would know more, but I can't find my glasses to read this, so I haven't really been able to check it out. But guys, give them a check out. It's a good product. I appreciate them sending it to me. King Bolin, thank you. And we will see you next time on Santa's Workshop.